Previously on Resident Evil. Bruh. Bruh. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Bugsy! Uh, uh, uh. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! <sighs> This whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Uh, uh, what did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? I'm okay. The others... Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Part 7. In the last video we took care of Yawn and also the boss for, uh, the first boss we encountered which was the Crimson Head Prototype. Now, 
In this video, I'm going to pretty much try to close, make it close to 20 minutes. So, in the last video, we actually only needed a couple of things. We're going to be needing these two because they're going to be key components. We're going to be taking our shotgun with us because they're going to be dogs that are going to be encountering. We're going to be encountering a zombie and also we're going to be encountering Lisa Trevor, which we cannot, um, we can keep shooting her with bullets, but the thing is, she's pretty much the queen of bullet sponges. Now, we're going to make our way on out right here. And you're going to notice something. Remember, we actually went through this door three times already. So, this door is broken. The door hand, the doorknob is broken. You cannot pass through. So, in other words, this thing is gone. It is down for the count. You remember that zombie that we killed in the last video in, outside this hallway that he traveled all the way to follow us? Well, guess what? He is a crimson head now. And whatever you do, do not wake him up. Just creep on over. Another reason why he I can tell he's a crimson head. Jill is aiming towards him. So not a good idea to wake him up. So that was a short amount of time. So when you come over here, do note that we unlocked the other shortcut that we actually managed to get right here. Where the crow's room is at. Where the art gallery is. So, I'm just going to make our way on through. And we're going to try to get to the next point of, um, what's it called? Interest. So, we're going to keep on running here until we come to here. Now, do be ready when you walk halfway down this hallway that I'm about to walk down that requires this key. You're going to be encountering a dog. Just one dog. This is why you need Richard's assault shotgun. Come through here. Now the hallway that I'm talking about is the one that we haven't traversed yet. Because we needed the key. Now that we have the key, which is actually this right here. We are going to be going out this door. But do be careful. There will be a dog that's going to surprise attack you. So do note that that here is the dog nice took him out in one shot whenever you hear them go ah that usually means that that dog is gone he's in dog heaven you know since all dogs go to heaven I guess you know the movie the cartoon so this item unlocks this which is fantastic. And you got some more shotgun shells right here. Which is even more fantastic. And guess what? You get a first aid spray here. And also a battery pack. So, good thing to have. Uh, kind of makes us have like, I think, seven? Yeah, seven defense items. Self defense items. Not too bad. This way we can go through, but unfortunately for us, we cannot go through any further because we do need a key item in order to traverse the, this actual place here to our next point of interest. So we're going to be going down this door and be ready for a cutscene because Barry himself is going to be saying that there is an enemy that bullets will not work and take his advice. This thing is one of the key components to a door. What you need to do is stop it on W. Nope. Cue the cutscene. Cue the berry. Yes, he's saying stay away, and what do we do? We do the exact opposite and go towards it. There's another one right here. Stop this one on north.
Don't ask me why, how that actually unlocks the door with the two dogs on it. Do note you're going to be encountering some crows here, so be aware of that. As long as you don't touch them or shoot them, you'll be fine. What I like to do is just slowly walk past them. So, we're good. See, that's why you need to walk past them. Because if not, because of that. There's that. And you see, we've been attacked by that crow just one time. And already the crow is angry and ready for a backup. Or a secondary uh, attack. Now, I'm not going to waste my shotgun ammo on this bird. I'm going to take these. And they're angry crows. I don't know what they're angry about, but they're angry. Just keep that in mind. There's a feather. That means he's coming in for another attack. Let's turn this around. This is why you walk in the crow infested areas because of these crows are pretty ticked off for some reason. Activate this. Uh oh. Push the button here. Activate this. And use it. Examine this one. Push the button on this one. Don't ask me how these things have buttons too. I don't know why, but okay. Um, go ahead and use it. Trigger Barry's sister handgun. This is Barry's gun. Now, since one of the crows is already ticked off, I'm going to just run. He's trying to get us, but guess what? We aren't going to fall for that. Cue Lisa Trevor! Now, this area has no enemies on here, so you are good to go to travel through here. So, yeah, it's just walking through here. If you kill any zombies in this area, like, um, let's say, what's it called? There's going to be a zombie once you get the hand crank here. Right now, we're just going to pick up these two herbs, since that's the only thing we have left in our space inventory. We're going to use one of these herbs to heal us because of that crow, the bird brain. This, well, it's just why I said to walk. When I started running, that's when the crow got ticked off. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to go through the door here. And this is pretty much where Lisa Trevor's uh, residential area, or where she resides. Right now, she's out and about. Come over here. I'm going to take the map of the area. The courtyard. And now that we got that, we come over here, but don't go too far because you're going to pick this up. A family picture. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Uh, Dad... Attach first, mom, attach second, inside, red and slimy, white and hard, not true, mom, where? Don't know, dad, found mom again, wine, attach, mom, my, she moved no more, she screamed, why, just what to be with her? Four, where, mom, where, I miss you, and exit. Yeah, it's kind of odd writing, but I digress. This is what we came here for, and this is what will help us proceed to the level. Come over here, jump up here. We're gonna go to the item box and we're going to dump off the hand cannon. I like I like to call it the hand cannon because that's what it's called in Risen Evil 4. First aid spray we don't need. We may just need the herb just in case later on we get damaged, and then we're going to be needing these for the dogs and this for later on. 
Now, we're going to be needing this because I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to get damaged and hit by trying to escape Lisa Trevor. So, this is pretty much what we're, our weapon setup it looks like. And But, get this. Come over here. There she is. Come out here. She teleported for some bizarre reason. Wake up from a nap. I don't know how we end up there in the first place. Here's Lisa Trevor, all chained up still. A very distorted. Now, there's no way to go around her without getting hit like that. Now, you can do two things. You can either kill the zombie that we're about to encounter. Now, do know that we did take a hit. This is why I kept that herb. Now we're fine. So, haha, <laughs> game. So, do note not to take off like a loony. Because later on, you'll be encountering Zombo over here who has asthma. Headshot. Nice headshot. That was just two shots. That was fantastic. Sorry, Zombo, but you're in the way. So, okay, we actually did not too bad. We actually did pretty good. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to go back out here. And now when we check out the map, you can see that everything out is actually green or gray, as you can see. We're gonna go back to the other door. But do you know, this is the crow's area. Beware of the angry birds. Because we ticked one of them off, we already know he's out and about looking for us. Yeah, you keep on crowing. So here we go. There's no other zombie beyond or enemies beyond here, so we're good to go. We just gotta get to point A to point B until we get in contact with Brad. And then once we get in contact with Brad, there's gonna be three zombie dogs. But once we get past them, there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we gotta do is go through here. Do note that before stepping outside, equip the shotgun. Because if you do not, you will regret it. And you're gonna have a bad time. And do note, we have no healing items too, so there's no way I'm going to go back to Lisa's place or go back to the mansion. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Of course, technology for you. Now, you hear dogs here. Now, there'll be an occasion where a dog will come up, uh, come over here real slowly. But then again, that's RNG for you. So, I don't know when the dog is going to be coming up because the dog likes to pick and choose whenever it likes to come up. It'll be coming up in the lower right corner. And, yep, there it is. Just gotta wait until he gets closer. Wait. Now! Bring it on, dog! That's alright. Took out two dogs. This is why you need the shotgun. Now, that dog did a lot of damage. But then again, we killed three zombie dogs here. So, no problem. That's right, you dog. Now, if it was just a normal dog, I would be... Oh, poor dog. But since this is a zombie dog, we don't care. Because they're dead already. So, we come over here. 
this elevator does not work it only works if you actually have the battery which we will get later on in the game if i can stop hitting the wall that is come up here we go to the map we know that um this area is unlocked but the one thing is there's a catch to it you do need the hand crank in order to gain access further so once you come over here you're gonna notice this you can't go down there because of the murky water there so you're going to use the hand crank over here to crank this so let's see rushing up the water open says me you hear a waterfall in the distance yes yes you can now there are two things that can happen you can either get bit by a snake and be damaged now that's gonna push me into uh, to the danger or you could be poisoned and that will also push you into the date will put us in a danger too so that's why we have these two right here we're not gonna combine them just in case because since the snake are pretty much random we don't need a shotgun here for right now you can kill the snakes but I wouldn't recommend it. it's just a waste of bullets because they're crafty buggers now you won't be encountering any snakes here but you will be encountering snakes on the way back in the opposite direction that we're going now do note when the area that we're going to walk crow area walk and stay away from the edges <coughs> oh, see didn't stay away from the edges that pretty much put us in the danger area so we have no other choice now the area the item you want to get is this green herbs now I'm pretty ticked off but this is why I did it ahead of time so I'm gonna come over here you're gonna pick up this red herb now you may be wondering why you ticked off well it's because of these crows man it went perfectly fine when I did the other run but the thing is I am going to be using that save um, states later on be careful of snakes there's one more or three more oh four more my bad see like i said it's pretty much random until you get over here so once you come in here we are now in an area which i'm going to do this for a cool thumbnail sub And we're in an area that actually has giant spiders. This is why the game has given us blue herbs like crazy now. And we got that. We're gonna get this. We could have had another one, but we had no other choice because, for one thing, if I was to get damaged or killed by a snake, I would be pretty ticked off because I had to do the whole walkthrough again. And the killer dogs and, um,. That dog actually pretty much took a lot of health, and then the, you got those crazy birds. So you got another battery pack here. And of course you have the... The ink ribbon. Now we do not need the, um... What's it called? We do not need the crank, but we will be taking these, combining this together. Now, if I had the my other one, my other blue herb... I would have combined it together with this one and made four of them, but that's why I have the other safe state area. There's a canteen here. And when you come and put this up, I'm going to refill this up right here. It has to be plenty of kilo. Do note there are zombies here too. They are. How to call them? There's zombies, there's giant tarantula spiders, there's even, if you don't like spiders, don't look at it, or just avoid it, or if you don't like bees, yes, there is bees in this level. So do note that, um, 
There will be bees here. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to dump all this stuff off. Because for one thing, I already have it saved up already in another location. But I'm not sure the ammunition though. Uh, put my stuff here. Now, here's what we have. 15 handgun bullets, 67 of that. And we got 33 shotgun shells all together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on off of that... Uh, area so this one is just get from point A to point B because for one thing we're wounded and another thing is that when we go to the or let me go back to the item box and show you guys that I actually have yes we have like three these are the green herbs and this entire mix herbs but we got a fourth one then we have more of those and then we have more of the first aid sprays and we also have a little bit more of ammunition in two of these so we pretty much have a little bit more of everything and it's a little bit more organized too so that way you guys can see what I have now I'm going to prove it to you guys and I'm going to um, go to the game real quick since this is gonna where I'm gonna be quitting the video I'm going to be quitting the game I'm not gonna be saving it because the reason why I did not save it is because that um I actually have it saved already. So when we come over here, I am going to load this back up. This is where I saved it at. The sixth one. Not the seventh one, the sixth one. And I can show you exactly why I only have it right here. And if this is the correct spot where I have it at. And I, not, in this scene, I did not trigger any of the birds. The pesky birds. And also... We also have the same amount of handgun bullets, and that's for this. We have one more shotgun shell, because you know, one more bullet from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so yes, we have the grenade launcher. We have this, all this here. Then we have all the herbs here. And the first aid sprays, then the mixed herbs. And here's that fourth one that we could have had in the last playthrough. Now, the reason why it looks all barren and everything is because I combined all the um, herbs, the, like all the blue ones together to make these. I even had these here, and I even have the first eight sprays just in case. And then I have the green herbs, a whole lot of green herbs in case we encounter even more enemies. Then we lighter fluid, then we have these that we haven't even used yet. And we have the safety knife, and we have the hand crank. Plus we have more of this. Plus when we go onto our item screen, we have one less dagger, but we actually have one more battery to actually electrocute zombies. Quite shocking, is it not? And then if not, we just stab them in the head. So, yes, we have pretty much the whole same amount of handgun bullets actually. We just have one more shotgun shell. Yes, we are at caution, but then again, we are not holding our sides to our uh, our sides because, for one thing, I am healthy. Now, as for map-wise, I have not explored anything else except the entrance where we just came through and the door that we came through. Like just a box room, and the one across the hall is locked. The other one uh, down the hallway, it is in fact open, but you do need a key. Now, the room we're about to enter, which is the one that's actually... I wish I can actually zoom up and show you guys. The one on the right side of the map, the one that's gray-colored door. That one was the one we're going to be encountering, the giant-sized spider. So, in case you do not like spiders, please look away. And I'm going to end the video right here, if I can get her lined up with the typewriter. Here we go. I'm going to end the video right here, so thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be updated with new content, and I'll get started on the next video. Thank you for watching, and you guys and girls have a good day. Bye-bye, until next time.